Hey, so hey everyone, my name is Odolf and welcome to another hit film tutorial. So I saw a comment on YouTube that someone was pretty much asking how to do green screen stuff in hit film. So I thought, hey, maybe I could make a tutorial about that. So, so yeah, let's get started. First, this tutorial is going to be two parts like the last one. The first part is going to mostly focus on keying the footage. And then the second part will mostly focus on matching the colors on the green screen footage with the background so the effect blends more blends better so so yeah so let's go with the first part and let's get started so again i'm gonna assume that you guys already know some basic stuff so i have the footage in hit film right here this is the green screen footage we shot and this is the background i'm gonna be using so for the green screen footage, let's just go make composite shot. Alright, so that's it right here. And the uh, footage is shot like that because I wanted to get a full body shot and so I had to shoot it portrait. So what we're just going to do is to fix that. Just go to transform and then rotate it by negative 90 degrees and that should fix it so let's scale it down a little bit and and yeah so that looks pretty good and what you wanna do is this area when you green screen it they're gonna stay because they're not green and you don't want that so the simplest way to just fix that is to just get a mask And just mask out the character and then that's it so you only have the green so whenever you do take away the green that's all you will need to do so so yeah so let's get on with the keying so pretty much there's a lot of tools in the keying effects right here but we're just gonna focus on some of them I mean in your free time you can go ahead and look look at them and just see the different effects they do so but for this video, we're just going to do the color difference key. And we're going to do the matte cleaner. And the spill removal. And let me go ahead and disable my audio. Alright. Alright, so color difference key, matte cleaner, and spill removal. So let's go to the effects right here and I'll tell you what all of them do and pretty much the color difference key is the is what takes out the green so you see it says screen color it says to it's set to green so it's it, that's what's gonna take out the green so if we un, undo that you're gonna see the green is there and then if you redo it you're gonna say it's, see it's taking out some of the green but there's still some left so we're gonna need to tweak it a little bit and the and this right here, that's how you t you tweak it to just get the desired look you want. And the view mat, for times when you're not sure whether you took up, took all of the green out or something like that, you can click view mat because everything that's transparent should be fully black and everything that's not should be white. So right here we see that's white so we know, hey, okay. But right here it's a little gray, so we see okay we have some green left because if it was fully transparent then it would be all black. So let's gonna use that so to kinda help us with it. So I'm gonna move this, take out some of the green, and we get to about right here and and that seems pretty good. But we see there's still a little transparent on the person because of reflection. Or from the green screen and we don't want that so that's what the max is for because it's just gonna fill these areas and we did the max so and yeah so that's it and after that we can turn off the view map then you can just see there's still some little green on the edges right here but for the for this tutorial we're just gonna focus on on the other things but you could tweak it to to get a better effect so before we do anything else, let me get my my background. 
and you see this is the background right here and here is our guy since there is no screen behind him now he's on the background and let's just go ahead and move him just a little bit all right he's good right here so let's go back to the controls effects and then the mat cleaner now the mat cleaner what that pretty much do is it has some different effects let me select it it has smooth feather and choke and smooth pretty much gonna smooth out the the edges of of the green screen so in some situations you might get like some really bad bad edges so it's always good to smooth it out but not by much I find that 5 pixels is usually the best for the smooth because it does it but it's not too much and the feather for this shot we're not gonna need the feather but for example if I said I needed 10 pixels feather and then you will see that it would do like a feather around the edges and then the choke is if I was wanting to pretty much I don't know how to expand it but hey here's what it does and let's put it back to zero all right so so yeah we got two down and the next one to go is the spill removal in which is the simplest one of them really all it does is for example if you look at the edges look at his arm right here look at his hair you might see there's some green there because he was in front of a green screen and it's, a, it's very important to get that green out because or else people are just gonna say hey he, he was in front of a green screen so it takes away from the effect let's just click that and it's already set on green so what it's just gonna do is remove all these greenish tones that it had around the edges and such so so yeah that's it for the first part there are a bunch of other tools here that you can lear learn and just tr try some stuff on your free time see, see what they do but but the color difference key mat cleaner and spill removal they're very important for the key so that's why i went over these